Hi everyone, this is Mr. RB. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own triangle tracing picture. I was reading one of my favorite stories, all about the very greedy triangle, and that inspired me to create a triangle picture. Well, triangle thought he had to have more sides, but our triangles have one, two, three sides, and one, two, three angles. We're going to trace these cardboard triangles with a black crayon. You could use another color. You could even use something other than crayon. I like the crayon because later when we paint in the triangles, the crayon resists the paint. And that makes it easier to stay inside the lines. I like the black because it makes a nice contrast with all the bright colors I'm going to be using in a few minutes. Once I've traced my first triangle, I can trace it again or switch to a different size or shape triangle. Some triangles are big, some triangles are small, and some are long, and some are short, and some are equal all over. Whatever triangles you're using, have fun. I'm going to hold my tracer down carefully and as I trace along if I get to another triangle I stop skip 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 and then draw 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 so I'm never drawing through one of the earlier triangles this makes it look like the first triangle is overlapping the second one I'm going to add a few more triangles. I can add them anywhere on my page I want. One side, two sides, three sides, and I'm done. I'm going to add one of these little triangles, but I'm going to put it right here. It's going to get overlapped by two triangles. So I skip the point and I start here. I go draw, skip, 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 draw, 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 stop. Skip, 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 draw, 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 draw. Round the corner, draw, 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 skip, stop. Skip, skip, skip. I think I'm all done with that one. I think I want maybe another one over here just to make my paper feel more full. My paper felt a little empty over there, so I'm just going to add this nice triangle here. One, two, three sides. I want to make sure I get my corners nice and neat. I don't want to be missing corners on my drawing. I can always add one more, and it's even okay if a triangle goes off the page. Well, look at this. I start here, and I go draw, 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 around the corner, draw, 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 stop. Skip, 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 draw, 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 I'm off the page. So I'll follow my triangle around until I come back onto the page again and go draw, 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 stop. I do have to hold my paper cardboard, my cardboard triangle down, so I get a neat tracing. But when I do, I can lift it away, and oh my goodness, look how my first triangle overlaps my newest triangle. Well, I'm ready to start painting them. So I'm going to put away all my tracers back in the bin where they belong, and put my crayon back in the bin where it belongs. I'm going to get out a nice brush and some of these tempera cakes. I like the tempera cakes because they give me lots of color choices, but they're clean and neat and easy to use and easy to clean up. I'm gonna pick any color I want. I'm gonna swirl that paint around so I get some color on my brush and I'm gonna start by going along the inside wall of one triangle. And I'm going to make this one all purpley pink. I need a little more water. I didn't even need more paint. I just needed a little more water. And I'm going to do the, oops, I'm going to do the, the edge first, just along that inside wall. And then 
I'm going to pull some of that purple into the middle until I filled my triangle with that yummy purpley pink. Hmm, makes me think of grape lollipops. Yum. I can pick any colors I want for each triangle. I'm going to try the brown out. Hmm, that sounds like a nice color to try. And I'm going to start over here on this triangle. You don't see the whole thing because it's being overlapped by some of the earlier triangles. So when I get to the edge, I always stay inside the shape. I never go across the line. And I follow along. Notice, what am I doing first? The inside or the, mid the middle or the edge? I'm doing the edge. See how I go along the edge first? And then I do the middle. Mm. I like to get a nice smooth tone, a smooth, even brown all the way across, as much as possible. I can use brown again if I want. I could make another triangle brown. I could switch colors on every single triangle, or I might want to make several triangles the same color. Whatever I think looks good in my picture. Because we all have different things we're trying to express and show. Different favorite colors, different moods for the day or the moment. And so we'll all come up with different choices. And that's part of what makes our painting so much fun to look at. Well, this one's not quite done, but I'm going to stop here so you can have time to make your own. Enjoy, and I will talk to you more soon. Bye, everybody.